now online. Well, I've heard it all before, and I'm tired of the lies. I've tried, I will compromise. You're a thousand miles away, draining under my blood. It brings, take away the strain. I don't think that you know. Uh, we are now going into our second set. Um, as you've noticed, Tasteless has stolen my hat. Um, he was sick of being the, uh, the the reindeer devil character. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I, I, we changed, so now I got this thing. All right. It's nice. Um, so our second match up tonight is Mind versus Gujilla. Mind being our Terran player. Um, one surprisingly rare in our tournament here and Gujilla another yet another Protoss um, I think we have eight Protoss still in this tournament right now Jeez. and two Terran oh no I'm sorry four Terran mm. eight Protoss no Zerg no Zerg Zerg they've Zerg. all been eliminated they're done they're gone it's funny because there was a Zerg that won uh, season one so it's kind of odd <laughs> I know and he yeah. was the one he was actually eliminated by the guy who was just, just eliminated. got eliminated yeah huh alright well Next week, um, we're going to have, luckily, um, yeah, an another one Terran, three Protoss. I guess we can't really mix it up very much lately since yeah, there's so not, many not Protosses. But, um, so um, I'm kind of excited about this next game. You want to give your thoughts on this Mind versus Yes, yes I do. I, I don't know who's really going to uh, be the winner here. It's pretty even, to be honest. Um if I had to bet my life on one, I would say Godzilla. He's very strong. Um, he's playing very smart, uh, especially lately. You know, he's just been gradually improving. He's not one of these guys that was really good, but always in a slump, or he might be coming back. He just seems to be, you know, steadily improving and uh, dominating more and more. So, um, yeah, but mine at the same time, you know, he's pretty good too. So, you know, he might win this as well. I don't know. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, no, absolutely. I think this is the hardest to talk about because um, I feel like Mind and Gujilla are very much uh, neck and neck. Will you stop playing with that hat? No, I like it. It's why right. I have long hair now. I can pretend I'm a girl. <laughs> with a little reindeer like. bear on your yeah, head? Yeah, yeah. There's a little bear. There's a little panda bear guy. Um, it's Panda Burger's friend, the Santa Bear guy. The Santa Bear guy. All right. Santa um, <laughs> anyway, these two have played against each other before. In fact, they played April 22nd, um, 2008, where Mind won that game. And then on June 10th, and this is both in the Pro League, uh, Gujilla won that second game matchup. So this is, they're meeting up again now. Yes. We don't know who will win this one. Um, like I said, they, they're both very active players for each of their respective teams. So thus, they've been practicing a lot and playing a lot of games here and there and everywhere. I think uh, either of these guys could be finalists as well mm -hmm. um, in the tournament. I mean, that's no exaggeration. These guys are both very, very strong. So I'm really looking forward to this game. I think it's going to be really educational, whether you're Taryn um, or you're Protoss. I think you're going to be able to learn a lot. Um, from these two players, and um, neither of them, um, well, we haven't brought either of them out yet, but I think we're going to be doing that very soon here, mm -hmm. judging from the timing of things. All right, I uh, found another nickname for Mind. Really? Yes, he is called the Rommel Tank. What? Yeah. yeah what okay, ooh, Danger Mind. I like how they're Danger finding these mind. songs just for the players. Actually, I wonder if the players pick them out. I just thought to ask I, that. I don't know, I don't know. That, Danger line. <laughs> that makes sense. I love it. Well, like Rommel, they call him Rom Rommel. Rom that, this is like my Korean pronunciation. Yes. Rommel. Rommel. Tank. Like the guy in the German army who is like oh. charged with all the tanks because he has really good tank control. That's I, why they I call still prefer him. the poisonous snake. I like that too. Poison snake. He doesn't look very poisonous right now. He's going to bite you and you won't be able to suck the poison out. Mind is really a flawless player, though, to be totally serious for just a little bit here. He is one of these guys that makes very little errors. I think he's very well-rounded. He's still very young, too, so I think he has a lot of time ahead of him. 
where he's going to be able to uh, really continue with his uh, reign of terror. Yeah, as you can, you can uh, see there, he's at 132 wins and 91 uh, losses. I mean, that's a pretty good percentage. These stats, again, were given by the Korean commentators and by the uh, community at PGR21.com, which is a huge StarCraft community here in Korea. Um, the last 10 games minus played are going to Pespa. He's at seven wins and three losses. And versus Protoss, though, he's five and five. Um, that's still pretty good. I mean, mind yes. you, there's a lot of good Protoss out there. Um, there. There he is with his snake eyes. And the snake eyes. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. He's a poisonous snake. Well, uh, he's going to be moving to his booth very soon. By the way, we actually have these new heaters in the group. It's pretty cool. And um, now we're going to be introducing our next player. He's none other than Godzilla, also known as Cal the Shank Toss. It's time to rock. That's what, that's what he says. That's what he says. Apparently. It's time to start stabbing nerds. No, Cal actually needs a knife in Korea. It does. It does. But he is no longer Cal. He is Godzilla. He's Godzilla now. He is a very tall player, by the way. Yeah, he's actually he's taller than me, and I'm pretty tall. I'm six foot one. No, this, this kid, I'm assuming 6'3". Yeah, I think he's 6'3". Uh, interviewing him is a great feat. I stand on a box. You stand on a soapbox? I do. I do. Um, he is one of the six dragon Protoss uh, of our day. As you guys can see here, there are his stats. Um, mine was, what, rank 15? Godzilla's rank 7? That uh, Anywhere between rank, like, what, 5 and 20, I think everyone's pretty neck and neck. Yeah, so. I mean, it's pretty close there. I mean, you know, they get the top 5, and, you know, and then, then we sort of see them kind of Stray away from the herd, but really, yeah, he's, he's, he's a phenomenal player. Very intelligent. Um, again, kind of like Tempest was KTS hope for Protoss. Gujilla is STX's Protoss guy, you know. Yeah. Um, here's the, the ratings. In case you guys don't know what the low ranking means, it's uh, attack defense, macro, overall map control, micro, and then his star, stardom, starship ish thing um, on the bottom there. Uh, it's really hard sometimes to translate Korean directly. English, I have to say. But um, let's see. His last ten games, he's six and four, six wins, four losses. And uh, versus Terran, similarly, six wins, four losses there. And um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll we'll see how how this all. He, he is though. Here. Seriously, he's really tall. And you are actually very short. So that must have been a very tough interview. I'm sorry, it's true. You want know how short Susie is? <laughs> I am sitting in a chair hey, very hey. low to the ground, and she is standing, okay, on, 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 a, on a stool. Don't tell anyone <laughs> okay. that. I'm actually an elf. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, I mean, what else can we say about these two? They're just both up and coming, strong players, solid play. Uh, Gujilla known for his storms. I'm, I'm hoping to see some, some yeah. high Templars in, this, in these games here. I'm sure and, um, we will. Mind is just yeah he's so well rounded. I he's I really do enjoy casting his games and he has a very good sense. He's not doing the wrong strategies. Cal just walked in front of our camera. <laughs> was that Cal? That was Cal. I think he has to go to the bathroom or something. Maybe. Yeah. Just kind of ran away. Sometimes you gotta go. It's a Poros versus Terran. It could be a very long time. <laughs> it could be very long. We don't let the players wear diapers. So uh, all right. I we guess got rid of that bathroom. last season. Yeah, last season. We had yeah. a, a big issue. Disqualification with that. players would hide the replays and the diapers. They would get leaked. It was. It was it was bad. bad. Unless they were huggies, then they then they could not be leaked. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Sorry, the holiday spirit here is uh, getting to all of us, I suppose. And you know what? Um, not only Merry Christmas, but Happy Kwanzaa and Hanukkah and all the other holidays around yeah. the season. I don't want to be. Uh, yeah, we don't strictly. Do it. I'm an atheist, but I still got the spirit of uh, you know of you know the holidays, the holidays. around here. Okay. <laughs> I'll be giving gifts and receiving, but yeah. It's uh, it's that time of the year. What it is so cold in Korea. Well, what are you doing for Christmas? I'm going to Thailand. My my, my dad's out there. That's awesome. Because I don't have time to go back to the states. Ah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. So. Well, a lot of uh, the StarCraft people here, I know, can't go back to the states. Not yeah. only is it too short of time, but it is really, really expensive. I, yeah. I, it's just expensive. So, um, so actually, my mom has invited all the uh, foreign. Starcraft oh, yeah. people over to our we're house. A little, and we're uh, get a, together. a little dinner at my house. Yep. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be fun. Giving gifts, finding little presents in the stockings. Yes, yes. All that jazz. 
Maybe well, I'll just get everyone a bunch of these little ear things, these little antlers. These little antlers? I think I'm going to do that. The, you know, I was thinking about it, you know, because we get a preview screen of ourselves in here. They kind of look like devil horns. Like when I when we started the cast, <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, man, I kind of look evil. But, um... An evil where, John Travolta, yes. Well, we're still burning time because I don't know where Godzilla is. Godzilla has not come back. Did he run away? I don't know. That would be really He's just tragic. like somewhere down the block, just sprinting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play Terran. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. It's, seriously, it's so cold in Seoul, though. It's just so cold down here. Uh, hence the reason why I am wearing this. this I'm coat actually really here. cold. For whatever reason, this corner of the studio is, is the coldest corner. But, um, yeah, okay, Cal's back. Godzilla's back. Are they, he had to go are sharpen they? his knife. Uh, don't walk in front of the eye. They're like, they're like, he was going to walk in. Oh, he was going to go in front of the camera, and somebody <laughs> grabbed him, like, no. No, you cannot do that. No. Okay. All right, I think we're ready. I think we're going to get this started. Well, actually, well, no. he hasn't joined yet, but I don't know. Whatever. Cass I can talk like this forever. Is Okay, I see Mind. Mind isn't even in the game either. He's just kind of chilling out in his booth. It's kind of warm and toasty in there, so. It's a lot warmer in the booth there than it is right here. Absolutely. We should get our own little booth and like a little heater. We should, we should cast it inside of a booth, like a bigger <laughs> booth. <laughs> I'm sitting there with my heater. my heating pack in my hand, like <laughs> doing all that stuff. Oh, jeez. Standing all right. on my keyboard, even though I, I don't have a keyboard here. Anyway, so I mean, I think we've we've kind of exhausted everything that had been said about Mind and Godzilla. Yeah. Um, actually, you know what? I kind of wanted to talk about the game before with the Dark Templars. That was a good game. That was. It was a very good game. I mean, that's what happens funny. if you both don't go detection, okay. which is basically just a huge risk. But you know, at times when you feel like you're very, very even with your opponent, it can be worth it to just take a big risk like that. Um, and if your opponent's playing safe, you can get way ahead. You know, I was talking with Pretty uh, afterwards about you know during the interview and stuff, and I was like, "Well, what do you think about Tempest?" He was like, "Wow, this kid actually plays a lot like me." Yeah. He's like, "Whoa, why is he playing like me?" You know, so. Oh. Oh, now here we, we got go. Stats. We got stats. They are pretty similar. Again, pretty similar. Um, yeah, these, uh, as I said before, these guys are pretty even, evenly matched. We don't really have a favorite, at least on paper. You might be a fan for one or the other. But this should be um, the best game that we're going to have today. And we already had an insane series here with uh, Free and Tempest. I mean, excuse me, Pretty and Tempest. He, um,. I mean, that, that was a really high-level game. That was. You know, every week um, that passes, we get farther and farther along. The games are just getting better and better. I'm just loving it. It's been a good set. It, you know what? Next week, um, including next week, and then the round of eight, we'll be having two sets uh, per week. I'm sure you guys have noticed there's a change since the round of 32. Yeah. Um, when we get to the finals, though, it's just going to be that one game, that one day. And then our, no, no, not finals, semifinals. And then yes. the final will be on February 8th. So make sure you guys tune in for, for that. I'm not sure who's going to be there because all these guys have been we'll be there. phenomenal. We'll you be there. You can count on us being there. All right, but I'm not sure which one of these dragons will be there and which one of these dragon slayers will be yeah. there, basically. We don't know, but, um, it, you know, it's tough because everybody this, that's gotten this far is so good. We've had a lot of um, a lot of upsets, but I mean, our final lineup is still quite strong. And some of these dark horse characters, like Pepe, I really don't know what to, to make of them. I mean, they they, they they could be the guys in the finals as well. There's a shot of Cal, Godzilla. The cameraman's like suspended in air because he's so tall. Yeah, man, they are camera. He's in a helicopter right now. Meanwhile, in some wicker basket sits the poisonous snake mind. Just waiting, maybe rattling his tail. All right, they've both left and joined the game again. Okay, now they're in the game, um, so I think we might get started. Normally, after we get those camera shots, we start the game. Normally. All right, normally. I love this little, like, pregame banter. Yeah, we let, the, we let the, the players communicate beforehand um, in, in, in the end game uh, channel. And our, our observer actually communicates with them as well. Mm-hmm. By the way, that Garimto interview, pretty popular on the site, I understand. That's actually getting more hits than Slayer's Boxers interview. He was actually really <laughs> embarrassed by that. He was like, man, is anyone even going to understand me? And I'm like, dude, you did a great job. So He's a really uh, cool guy. Yeah. He, so uh, his English Thank is actually you. even a lot better than what you saw on there. All right, looks like we're going to get this going. So get ready. Mine versus Godzilla. Protoss versus Terran. On the map, Neil Requiem. It should be very exciting. The winner goes to the final eight. 
And uh, I have no idea who that's going to be because this looks so, so even. So get ready. Okay, we have started on Neo Requiem. Here we have our turn player, Mind, at the 12 o'clock position. Um, and in the orange, we have Gujilla at the 9 o'clock position. I'm getting better with this time stuff. Yeah, I was always bad with the clocks. I just, uh, I always tried to simplify it to top, bottom, left, right, stuff like that, but that's good. All right, now, Requiem, again, a very engaging map, um, the structure of it. And I know I always talk about the architecture of these maps and how it's really interesting, but this one really requires different play from the norm. So many places that are not accessible by land unless you mine out the mineral patches, which generally only happens late game, means both these guys have to have some very, um, very well-practiced builds. Controlling the high ground is critical. But as I said before, you can retreat to different islands, and, um, you know, it just makes for a very interesting map. Looks like Mind is going to wall in. A lot of Terrans wall in on this map. Even though it's easy for the Protoss to harass the depot on the high ground, it still can prove to uh, buy you some time if you can get at least that first tank out and try to hold off the rush from there. Standard scout timing here. For um, our Protoss, Terran actually getting the barracks um, and the refinery at the exact same time, I believe. Well, we are going to see a really cool game up here. And I mean, to be honest, this has already been a great game of, um, a great day of games today with the Tempest versus Pretty Series. Very uh, interesting. If you haven't seen uh, that series, maybe you're watching um, this later on, like the next day. You're listening to this as a recording. Definitely check out Game 2, Tempest versus Pretty. Really good games. Pretty is, uh, he's, he's wowed me with the, with the games that he's been showing here. Oh, yeah. He's like, what other words do we know? He is Puck Samkun. He's like, that's mine. What other words do we need? Is that what that says? Yeah. All right, well, he had to write a sign about it. Looks like Protoss is playing very normal. Nothing unusual yet. Terran, of course, this is what we always see Terran do. Terran doesn't have the option to do other things, really. So he's going to get the factory up. Now, we've seen a lot of two factory. We've seen um, a lot of two factory, even with the starport. And two in Vespian Gas, we may see the second factory in just a little bit here. I'm not sure if he wants to hide that zealot or what. But he's moving down south with the zealot. Actually, I think I know what he's trying to do here. He may try to intercept the scouting SCV at the ramp to make it look like he's at the bottom. That is brilliant. That is pretty That's smart. so smart. If this works, this is going to totally confuse mine. So, didn't quite work. Oh. But the idea was there, though. He wasn't, he wasn't watching at that moment. But yeah, I fooled you. I, you know, because if he blocks off the SCV from getting in there, mine may have a special build intended for his player if he's in the cell. I can just imagine that SCV like, oh, I got it. Oh, no. Where did everyone go? <laughs> There's some famous games where people have pulled that off. There's actually a game of really famous StarCraft player in the United States named G5. Um, he got second in uh, WCG this year. He did a game, and he actually... <laughs> he had two probes in this location that wasn't his main base. And the Terran trick for the entire game of the Terran 2 factory moved out to that location and he ran into the guy's base with dragoons and killed him. It was like, it's the, one of the coolest games I've ever seen. Very smart player. Okay, well, here comes the harassment. 
And the tank can have a little bit of a harder time here on this kind of map because the Dragoons are, uh, can get onto the high ground. The Zealot deals damage very quickly. There's the starport I was talking about. And still, mine hasn't really gotten inside of the Protoss base to see exactly what's going on. Well, I'm curious where Kyle's going to go for now. Um, if he goes for the Reaver in a position like this, the fast starport builds can be very good against that because you get a Wraith out, you shoot down the shuttle, you're just in a terrible uh, place after that. Looks like Mine's going to stay on the low ground, play very defensive, at least for the early game, and focus on harassment. We're going to see what Cal has planned in a little bit here. He may just be going for observers. Okay, um, he is going to go Reaver. Actually, this could be very interesting. But bear in mind, he stopped his opponent from ever really seeing what was going on here. For all he knows, his opponent's fast expanding. So the Reaver, of course, will be helpful in holding off the drop, but when he wants to get offensive, um, if he makes a Wraith, I mean, that the harassment's pretty much going to be non-existent. Now, planting a few mines around here on the edges, that's really going to prove to be damaging if he lands the Reaver there. So Cal's going to have to have perfect execution. Cal is going to make a Nexus in the middle cent um, bottom, excuse me. Now he expands there because there's more mineral patches there in these other starting locations versus other expansions. It's harder to defend though, and I think this is why Mind is going for the fast um, dropship, because when you spread out your expansions, you really start to lose to fast dropship. That was one of the reasons why we started seeing all the Protoss players out there back when Slayer's Boxer was big, start expanding really nearby themselves, because Boxer was so famous for using the dropship, the players just couldn't quite keep up. Well, here comes the harassment. Let's see how effective it is. Spotted by the engineering bay. You can see he's unseizing. He's going to try to set up a defensive parameter to hold off the drop. And he's going to move in here now. The zealots drop. The reaver's out. And he's got to be really careful. One mine. Really great control here by mine. And really stupid scarabs. Okay. Well, that did not work for him at all. No, that Reaver's almost dead as well. Yeah, he lost two Zealots. The Reaver really didn't inflict a heavy amount of damage. He took out some Vultures, but those are pretty easy to replenish. I think that's going to be the Wraith coming out next. Third Factory. Oh, my God. Third Factory. How often do you see that? Starport and three Factories. He's going to go for a timing push. He's going to try to snipe the shuttle with the Wraith as he pushes with his tanks. Protoss, it looks like Cal is assuming his opponent's going to expand, so he puts a pylon at the expansion to delay that by any measure. But in fact, that's not even the issue at hand. Now, I'm guessing when mine pushes, he's going to push um, right at the, um, the main and not at the south spot. Here comes the push now. Four tanks, two vultures, and a raid to somewhere to be seen. Here comes the wraith now. This could cost Cal the game! The you can see Cal's kind of in a state of panic right now. The shank toss. He's gonna be in some trouble. The Wraith is picked off, but it already did its job. He's getting position now, sieging up the tanks. Only Dragoons here. Siege tanks are quite strong against Dragoons. Um, especially when they're in siege mode, if they can prevent the Dragoons from getting there. These Dragoons trying to deal with the Vultures down here. Whoa! It uh, is a pretty gory uh, death scene with the Dragoons down there. He might be able to take out this tank. He needs to repair. He does repair it, but... Nice micro by Cal. M um, it does look like Mind has position, however, over here. He does have Vulture speed. And uh, he's moving into this back area. We don't see uh, any observers here to help him out. He's losing a lot, and I mean a lot of probes. He's going to drop one Dragoon right over there. Meanwhile, a tank and two vultures move down here. Godzilla in a terrible position. Godzilla may have just fell on his knife. Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but the point being... 
Um, the Godzilla is definitely losing control of this game. You can see the push by Mine. Not entirely solid here, but Mine um, taking out so many probes. That's 11 kills that so, yeah, one 11. vulture had. Woo. That's insane. You can see he's continuing to plant spider mines down here. A lot of probes at the south. I don't know if Mine is going to continue pushing at that location. He may want to move south. Well, mine hasn't expanded yet. Well, you can see he's walled this area up, but this is going to be really bad. He's going to get the dropship down here. No expansion for mine, but expanding is not what he's interested in doing right now. Okay, he drops the vultures. The vultures retreat. No, they don't retreat. Excuse me, I thought they were going to run back there. Uh, they should have retreated. Here's one Reaver to help out, but if he can avoid the, a Reaver effectively and continue to take out probes, this Vulture drop will be a success. Oh, oh! He takes out lots of probes, lots of probes fighting the dust here. We're just going to chill back here. Oh! Well, one of them was lucky enough to get away. Bear in mind, mind only just now expanding a counterattack can be very deadly. A good way to take out a Terran, um, if you're uh, really far um, ahead after you, you take out his dropship and he's going to try to expand, you get your shuttle of your own, bulldog your way in. They won't have enough usually to defend it. A shuttle dragoon combination is very strong. Ouch. He can't afford to have his dragoon softened up in a moment like that. Three tanks hanging out over there. As you can see, um, Godzilla's regained map control. He's trying to clean up these mines. He wants to have free flowing ability over there. But meanwhile, Mind is not done with this harassment. A lot of probes still getting picked off over here. My god. We've been seeing, we've seen so many uh, probes killed here. Well, he clearly has a lot of Espion gas. He's still making a lot of tanks. The command center's about to finish. It does seem like uh, Godzilla suffered serious blows back there. Serious, serious blows. The observer checks for mines. We may see a reaver drop up here. Now it's, um, it's Godzilla's turn to try to uh, deal some damage of his own. Whoa, whoa, easy. Almost overextended himself there. You know, I gotta say... But Jill's not quite up, playing at his best. Look out! Oh, we didn't see what happened! I guess the shuttle's gone. Along with, um, Godzilla's confidence right now. Well, we're going to see another, uh, drop back here. Godzilla's still cleaning up the map. Oh, this is so smart by, uh, mine. You got to remember that uh, Godzilla walled off, he walled off um, that entrance with pylon, so dragoons can't get back there unless they kill the pylon. Not to mention, um, the Protoss already lost his shuttle. Oh, that vulture was just confused. That's like a probe-only club back there. It's yeah. Not in. Probes only. There's a weight limit here, sir. If he can get the Nexus in time, that's going to be huge. But i got to say, Godzilla's economy really hurting. That's a long travel time for those poor probes. And, uh, okay, very smart move here. He's going to push while the Protoss is forced to move down south. Trying to defend there. He moves up to the center of the map to push there. These Dragoons don't stand a chance. Mine is playing absolutely 100% perfectly. Godzilla is falling into traps everywhere. You can see he's pushing out. A mine's control is very, very good. He needs to reinforce this push. He does have another shuttle. Godzilla is still looking good, but bear in mind, uh, he does not have a working expansion. A few um, spider mines planted here. The Reaver could save this. Whoa, nice Reaver shots. Really nice Reaver shots. But he's going to lose the shuttle if he's not careful. Wow. 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 He is so good. 
Oh my god, that was so well played by Godzilla, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. I said wow like such a nerd. I was like, wow, wow. Um, Counterattack by the Reaver. He wants to take out some SCVs. Anything to draw his opponent back. I don't know how effective these zealots are going to be when they start eating spider mines in the face. Whoa! Wow. Well, we can assume the Reaver had to move out of there. This is total chaos everywhere. This is an awful feeling if you're Protoss. You have no control of the game. Look at that, he's blocking off the ramp, landing a few mines. Meanwhile, he's gonna go right down to the probes. These probes already have um, PTSD from previous experiences with the vultures. This is still an action-packed game here. I don't even understand how Cal is barely managing to hang on during this entire time. I was gonna ask you, what is there any there's nothing you can do now, is there? I don't think so. I mean he's got the DCs out here, but you can just avoid them from playing spider lines. There are now no probes, and all he needs to do is send one dropship down here. Meanwhile, Terran pretty much remains untouched. GG! GG. Mine! Poisonous snake. Playing mind tricks. Wow. He really played well that game. The build was good. The execution was excellent. Everything was perfect about that game. There was absolutely nothing that uh, Godzilla, a.k.a. the Shank Toss, could do about it. You can see back there that Mine... Um, really understood that where the Protoss was going to expand the PT of their main, he knew he had to play aggressive early on. Oh, you can see he's really shook up um, by that by that loss back there. Well, um, Mine's feeling very confident. They've both joined the game already. They're both confirming that they're ready to go. Having a little chit chat in there. Oh, they're just telling each other, you know, that was a good game. Good game. You know, they're being all polite with each other. You're doing but, the um, manner thing. Absolutely. And uh, I think they're both ready to go, to be honest. I think so. Second map being Medusa. Um, you want to tell us a little bit about this map? Especially um, pl like between Protoss and Terran. I mean, I, we saw the Protoss Protoss before, but how is the dynamic different um, as a Protoss and a Terran playing on this time? Well, um... First of all, you want to watch the temples more on this map mm -hmm. because Terran likes to do a mid-game push where they siege up, blow up all the temples because unlike that um, that game where we saw with the Zerglings against the temple, the <laughs> oh, Bisu dear. versus um, Hoja. Hoja game, siege tanks with the splash damage, they can kill the stacked temples all at once, which means you can get up there really fast. And if you get siege tanks and spider mines up there, that's a disaster. You're going to take out at least two expansions. Hmm. So you really want to watch for that. Um, Protoss usually texts to Arbiters because Terran can't build any turrets in the middle of the map. And um, usually makes for some very interesting games. I, I, I love playing Protoss versus Terran on this map. Okay, all right. Well, thank you very much for that insightful... Well, thank you for asking me, Susie. Oh, not a problem, Nick. <laughs> all right, I don't know why they're still talking. They, the players are they ready. They're still talking. They are still talking. Look, look, I'm really emo because the Protoss lost. Look. Get it? Get it? Oh, I should wear silly hats all the wow. time when I cast. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Okay, um, I hit my hand. Okay, looks like um, we're going to get this started pretty soon. Both players, again, confirming. We're just having our Korean commentators talk about this a little bit more, give a little bit more analysis, and then we're going to get into this. Ah. Wow. I'm kind of sad about the fact that we only have two games, two sets. Yeah, there were some I'm, times I'm where it was fun, you know, doing the whole four doing set the thing. whole thing. Unless it was a lot of Terran versus Terran, and then I wanted to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> because the games never ended. But You're worth thinking. Most of, the time, most of the time it was fun. <laughs> imagine this was like the era of Zerg again. And like, yeah, we were talking about Oh, that. my God. Well, imagine there was eight Zergs in this. I'd be out of here in like 30 minutes, you know? <laughs> Like, all right, guys, the game's over. It's like an hour later. Yeah. We've gone through four games. I think we're, I think get we're this starting started, now. So get ready.